Hello there my fellow creators and welcome back to the channel. It is absolutely no secret that GPU performance in laptops has increased tremendously over the past few years and even up to a point where powerful notebooks can almost rival their desktop counterparts, especially if you consider the added mobility factor. While this holds true for gaming, we will focus a little more on the working and creator crowd today. Our German retail partner Alternate and NVIDIA sponsor today's video. And with their studio program and this RTX 4090 powered Razer Blade 18 and the help of my very talented friend Alex, who created this awesome looking picture here from scratch, we will see how much actual work you can get done by embracing the laptop lifestyle. Alex is a full-time 3D artist and has worked on numerous large-scale productions. And for our video today, I asked him to leave his editing den at home to visit me here in the studio. As a creative industry professional, he can be judge and jury today to answer our question of whether notebooks in 2023 are fast enough for highly specialized workflows like modeling, asset creation, texturing and 3D rendering. Our weapon of choice for our little experiment today is the all-new Razer Plate 18 in the fantastic looking Mercury Edition. With Intel's high-end Raptor Lake i9 3950HX, 32GB of DDR5-5600 RAM and a 2TB NVMe SSD, the stage is set for a high-end creator-focused notebook. And as a 3D artist, you might not have to work in cafes, trains or planes every other day, but being booked for on-site assignments happens pretty regularly. And while you might get the chance to work on provided machines, bringing your own laptop gives you the tremendous advantage of having your software, files, plugins, shortcuts and settings with you wherever you go. So while the 18-inch chassis of the blade might give you some raised eyebrows in the coffee shop at the corner, being able to work on a large screen in a laptop is definitely a godsend on set assignments. But of course, the star of the show today is NVIDIA's mobile RTX 4090, coming in with 16 gigs of video memory, which is especially important for highly detailed models like we are working with today. And it also runs at the maximum rated TDP of 175 watts in the Razer Slim chassis. And it might need every single bit of power it can get since it's actually going against Alex's daily drivers, which are full-fledged desktop monsters running on desktop 4090s and 3090s. And yes, we are talking plural here. So while the question is not, can the mobile 4090 keep up with its desktop brother, which it can't since it runs at half the wattage and the average 4090 card is about as big as the whole laptop, it is more about how effective you can get your work done and how many, if any, compromises do you have to make when going mobile. Alex provided one of his personal projects for this very video to give us something nice to look at while we are doing our tests. He set up most of his artwork on his main desktop machine running with Z4090, an i9-12900K and 128GB of DDR5 RAM. We are working with Houdini today on the software side of things and will use Redshift to render our final image. Again, we do not expect render times of the Blade 18 to be able to keep up with Alex's desktop machine. Still, much like in video editing, you will spend a lot more time creating your assets, models and textures, so I will be very curious to see what Alex has to say about his hands-on experience. On the hardware side of things, the mobile RTX 4090 is actually very well suited for content creation workflows in the CGI scene, since most render engines today can take full advantage of the built-in ray tracing cores that will give on-screen previews as well as final render times quite the boost. In addition to the highly specialized cores, the powerful Ada mobile chip provides enough pure GPU grunt to guarantee a fluid working experience. But enough with my rambling, let's hear what Alex has to say about his experience with the Plate 18 and if he would consider such a high-end notebook for his out-of-office assignments. Hey man, so first of all, thanks a ton for taking the time to work on this with us and especially for providing your stunning work for this video. So before we actually get into your time here, maybe let's start right at the beginning. So what were your thoughts when I asked you to swap your desktop rig for a notebook for your daily business? Cheers, Alex. My pleasure. Um, well, obviously, my first thoughts were um, that I was a bit concerned with the video memory. My desktop 4090 has 
8 gigs more, which makes quite a difference, especially when working with such a heavy character asset. For example, the dreadlocks alone have um, 15 million points, which is quite taxing. Taxing as in for the whole system, or is it just a GPU thing? Nah, it's in for the entire system. It's quite heavy. And after I told you about the specs for the plate, and especially the mobile 4090, was there anything specific you would have to do with your files in terms of optimization? Well, frankly, I didn't optimize anything before going into this, uh, just because I, I wanted to have a fair comparison. Um, usually I would watch the video memory anyway, because I have to do that, and I have to optimize anyway if I'm working on heavier scenes. But no, not specifically for this test. So once you got here, what was your first impression of the blade in general? And how smooth was the setup process regarding the software you used? Right. I mean, setup for the software is super straightforward. It's the same thing as on the desktop, of course. Download the builds and you're good to go. Now, having an 18-inch laptop is obviously an amazing thing because um, being able to track everything that is going on in your software, especially in a a 3D package where there's a lot going on at the same time is amazing, not gonna lie. All right, so let's get into it. How was your overall performance impression when working in your scene? Were there any immediate differences you noticed right away or did anything take like noticeably longer? Well, I mean, of course, the laptop is a little bit slower than the desktop. Uh, it won't draw as many frames in the viewport and the rendering side of things is also a bit slower. But I was definitely able to just work away and don't really think about it. And I didn't really have to make any compromises. So it was a quite smooth experience, yeah. So we of course also did some render tests before getting some coffee. Anything in particular you would have to say about that? And I remember you eyeing the VRAM usage once more in particular. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I'm just a creature of habit, so I'm always eyeballing VRAM. Um, and it's a good habit, I think. But having 16 gigs gets you quite far, I would say, so that usually works. I think we rendered in 3K, um, so even in that resolution it was just fine. Um, another thing is uh, having RTX is obviously a great thing and gives you usually a significant boost of almost 100% in certain situations. So. And if I recall correctly, we have been really impressed with the render times and then realized we haven't even turned on RTX yet, which then further sped up the whole process quite significantly. So with you being more of a desktop guy, what is your overall take on your laptop experience? And was there anything about the Blade 18 you liked in particular, or of course about the RTX 4090 mobile? Yeah, I gotta be honest. I mean, I was, I was a little bit uh, concerned when you asked me to come to Hamburg and work on this thing, just because I don't really have too many good experiences uh, with laptops. But I gotta say, this thing rips. It was, it was really, really good uh, to work on. And even though it might be not fully on par with my desktop, it gets darn close. Perfect. I mean, that should cover it for now. Once again, thanks a ton for taking the time to help us out with our video. And of course, for letting us show your work. Cheers, Alex. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. Take care. Well guys, there you have it. With NVIDIA's high-end mobile options, you are well equipped for even professional workflows in all sorts of content creation fields. And especially the RTX 4090 is giving an on-the-go work experience that simply has not been possible before. While there are some compromises to be made compared to their desktop counterparts, they are nowhere near as profound as before. And above all else, these chips will not hold you back and allow you to work and create almost anywhere. If you want to learn more about the NVIDIA Studio program and to what extent your favorite application is supported by their hard and software, please follow the links below. In addition, you can find Team Green's mobile GPU lineup in a plethora of notebooks in all shapes and sizes. And if you want to get shopping right away, our German retail partner Alternate has got you covered. Do not forget to check out some of Alex's work and be sure to give him a follow on his socials. As always, I will put all the necessary links in the description below. 
That should be it for today. I hope you enjoyed our little experiment and if you have any suggestions on what kind of workflow we should look at in the next video, make sure to let us know in the comments. Please leave your like if you had a good time and consider subscribing on your way out. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.